Hello there. So Heroes and Generals is dead and I've set out on a quest to find its replacement or its replacements, no matter how difficult it will be and how many shit games I'll have to play. And a lot of you have been recommending me a lot of games, but let's be honest now. If I'm gonna be talking about the HNG replacements, the first game that I should be talking about is Hellborn. We go back in time to the olden days of 2020. HNG vets were kind of fed up with Rito and they were like, you know what, even my grandmother can make a video game better than this. So a few HNG vets came together and decided they're gonna make a better HNG with blackjack and hookers. Once I heard about the situation I was really happy but then I heard the names of the people making the game and I was like who the hell are these guys? With the exception of one or two guys I actually knew and played with or against a lot of times. Most of the names on that team were kind of new to me. I was like how are these vets? But anyways I try not to be judgy too much and, and over time I got to know the lead of the team. His name was Caramel. As I got to know Caramel I realized that he was a really nice nice really hard working man and here's the thing if there are any HNG vets out there watching this you should probably know this HNG vets are interesting people to hang out with but when I think about all the HNG vets that I played with or against in the past 10 years there's only probably like one name that I can think of that is somewhat nice and that's XLT and XLT isn't even like straightforward nice he's more like a senile old man nice anyways as I got to know Caramel I realized that he was like through and through a nice hard working person and over the course of the last few years I got to see that on more than one occasion just how nice he is how hard working he is and how passionate he is about the game and to tell you the truth even when people started to lose a little bit faith with the game after all it was supposed to give us like an early closed alpha maybe in early 2023 or even late 2022 and that never happened so people started to lose faith and for a good reason but now i mean i actually had faith in the game just mainly because of caramel so when i heard that the game was just unceremoniously shut down i was really surprised i got a message from xlt telling me that a few weird messages were dropped in the hellborn discord after which the hellborn discord was deleted show me a couple of messages by caramel saying that he was really having a rough time and he's supposedly had an issue with the rest of the developers after which they've decided to just remove him from the project. After which another statement was posted by somebody belonging to the rest of the dev team recommending people to start the refunding process on coffee. By that time the Hellborn discord was completely shut down and just like that Caramel wasn't even available to receive messages. I tried to get in touch with him, couldn't. Luckily I knew another person on the dev team. I got in touch with him mainly just to try to make sure that Caramel is okay. I mean I was really concerned about him because of the messages I saw that he posted. But by then Caramel Caramel had already pretty much made his account private and shortly after that his account was deleted. If you look on the new discord made by the rest of the developer team of the now dead Hellborn, right after that whole situation happened he started posting these messages asking people for restraint to not make any rash decisions, to uh, be respectful, to understand that the whole situation is Caramel's fault after all he's the one that shut down the discord and supposedly responsible for the entire game and for the deletion of assets and the shutdown of the old game website and forums and all that. The messages you can read them themselves, what I got from them was that basically they're saying it's all Caramel's fault. But they don't actually explain what happened, what was the issue between them that got them so messed up to the point where they could not work together anymore and all of a sudden there was no game. That's right, all the work that was done in the past four years just like that, gone. Do they explain what actually happened? How was that work gone? Not really. The whole situation was hectic, they were dealing with a lot of probably abusive messages and DMs from old disgruntled players. They had every reason by the way to be disgruntled but at the same time I would understand if the devs decided at the moment they are not gonna talk about any of this, they're just gonna take some time. And that's fair. And yet when I spoke to that dev I was telling you about I tried to explain to him that the situation looks really really bad, sketchy even. And they should probably be full transparent as soon as possible and he agreed with me. He said that they're gonna be putting out statements as soon as they can explaining to people what happened. That was probably like three and a half months ago. I kind of forgotten about Hellborn and I got busy with other things RL but since I'm doing the whole HNG replacement thing I can't really look for a replacement to HNG without looking at what happened to Hellborn. So I joined their new discord and I started reading the messages on it. I think three and a half months is probably more than enough time for them to get their things and affairs in order and then explaining to the community what actually happened after all they owe them that much. 
if not more and we're gonna get more into that what i realized is that there was no explanation ever made just asking people for restraint and patience time after time after time week after week and then nothing no explanation was ever made second thing and also realized there are still no full refunds for people that actually have been back in the game for like years if somebody was back in the game for like three or four years and got him back like 10 15 percent of the money he spent he was lucky here's what i think about this entire situation there are two ways to look at this whole thing the first one is taking things at their face value and giving the the rest of the developer team the benefit of the doubt now if you look at hellborn as a team effort you know a team that was put together by a bunch of devs to make hng but better you know from the players by the players for the players all that then it was a team effort Effort. All of them were responsible for the game. All of them were responsible for the money received from their backers. Now, they claim that Caramel is literally responsible for the destruction of assets. Just like that, he destroyed assets and was gone. If it's a team effort, if all of them have equal parts in this project, why the hell did they leave everything in the hands of the, just one person who supposedly is responsible for the destruction of the entire thing? All the money that was spent supposedly was in his position. They can't even give back refunds. They they can't finish the project they said and i quote that we should consider this a new project they're starting pretty much from scratch at which case that i have to say well then they are a really poor judge of characters after all they picked a terrible person to be their teammate if anything not even their teammate but the project lead right anybody that would do that thing is a terrible person i mean anybody that would just up and delete a team project that they've been working on for 40 years is a terrible terrible person right now that's not the caramel that i've dealt with at all that doesn't sound like him plus that's not what they say either they say that he's a really nice person now once again we're looking at this as a team project they're all responsible for it if that's the case then just because one of the team members decided to just up and delete the entire project that doesn't mean that it's not equally your fault no that's not how it works when it comes to team efforts when one guy screws up it's still the fault of the entire team when one guy destroys the work that you've been doing it's still the fault of the entire team which means you're still liable to re refund people all the money that they've paid to back you for a service that you cannot deliver anymore if it's a team effort you want to tell me that during that four year period not a single one of you received a single paycheck from all the money that was being pulled every month by coffee if you can no longer provide them with the services that they paid for then what you should be doing is pull all the money you've received together and then making up the deficit and paying people back because that's how it works in a team effort you're all equally responsible just because one guy screwed up doesn't mean you're off the hook it doesn't mean you can deflect the blame and say it's all his fault no 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 that's not how it works the entire team screwed up you all are responsible and you all should be paying people back now believe it or not ladies and gentlemen this was the nice way of looking at it after all there is also the not so nice way now again this is purely my point of view as someone that has known caramel dealt with him before knows how nice of a person he is and is looking at this from the outside seeing the statements that were put out and the things that were said now from day one let me tell you it was obvious that caramel was responsible for this project it was his project he brought people along and he was responsible for the whole thing most of the devs on the team haven't been on the project for as long as him now this is my own personal experience with caramel i knew that he was working a full-time job and when he came home he was literally either sleeping or working on the game and that was his life for the last four years in the messages that he put out he said that basically he was having a full meltdown and he decided to take things down which is quite of a vague statement it doesn't really explain what actually he did what i understand is that he probably switched off the game servers and switched off his social media accounts and he decided to just you know sleep it off which is fair to be honest Honest. but when he came back he realized that the team that he put together that he was responsible for decided to remove him from the game now looking at this from the perspective of caramel being in charge i don't really understand how can the employees of someone try to fire him from something that is his it's like you going to work and organizing your co-workers and everything and then getting into your boss's face and asking him to resign not even no 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 you're telling him that he's fired i mean what right do you have to actually fire your own boss and before he said caramel isn't their boss that's not really what they're saying though because they're basically putting everything pinning everything on him the money is his fault 
is his responsibility. He should be liable to refund people. The game asset destruction also on him. The game name and brand and website and forum was all under his name and only he could take it down. So if everything is his, what right do you have to actually fire him? Now forget about it from that perspective. The guy was literally having a mental breakdown. What kind of a person kicks someone when he's already down? He's your teammate. You've been working on the same project for four years. If me, an outsider, knows already that this guy has been working a full-time job and then working another full-time job working on this game for four years and he's already having a mental breakdown what about you guys you are his teammates you should have realized that he is just in a situation where he cannot take this anymore he needs a break when he has a mental breakdown you decide okay we don't want this guy anymore well wait to kick him when he's down guys and when when he literally supposedly according to you is responsible for everything has everything in his hand the discord server the game servers the assets the website the, the forum the coffee page everything is in his hands and when he is having a mental breakdown you decide to push him by telling him sorry bro you're off the team it's not just kicking someone when he's down it's more like pushing someone off the edge and don't get me started about that statement they've put out that is so infuriating so you tell me that guy that you've been working with for the last four years just like that you throw him under the bus you direct all the blame of all the backers that you've had back in you for four years all the people that have been spending money on something that is now no longer there you direct all their anger towards one person you pin everything on him you basically encourage them to just harass him non-stop up. A guy that once again just had a mental breakdown. They basically bullied him off the internet and then they have the audacity to push back on people asking about refunds saying that what they care about is not the money but people's mental health. You have literally directly sent an angry internet mob to harass your own teammate who's having a mental breakdown and then you have the audacity when asked about the refunds which you are liable to pay back by the way you say that you care about mental health over money you see it's hard for me to see you doing things like that and then take your word for it and actually trust it Here's a few other issues that I found like kind of a, a red flag once I started reading through the messages. First of all, once the whole situation happened back in April, they were immediately more concerned about making legal documents for a new game. While you might look at this as learning from past mistakes, for me, if I was in your shoes, I'd be more concerned about resolving the standing issues. You know, people not getting their money. But no, no, no. What they were more concerned with is dodging responsibility, pinning everything on one person, a person that once again, I repeat to you, has been bullied off the internet, he can't even defend himself anymore. Another thing that I found really annoying is how lazy they were about giving the old supporters recognition. First of all, they required them to look for the new Discord server, then join the server, and then DM the mods telling them that they were supporters to give them the supporter role, despite the fact that they already had a list of all the supporters. Again, it's what they said themselves. No matter how you want to look at it, giving them the benefit of the doubt, or even if you want to look at it from a more cynical point of view, they're indirectly or even directly responsible for Hellborn being dead and immediately after the game has been confirmed dead they're just like that they're moving on to a new game just like the last four years of work didn't just get flushed down the toilet like it was nothing they say that they're not gonna make any promises about the new game and they're not gonna ask people for money but at the same time I mean how am I supposed to take your word for it at the best case scenario you are lazy and incompetent you put everything in the hands of one man who supposedly was not trustworthy and he literally destroyed the work of four years and with it all the money that that people have been spending to back you guys up so again at the very least you're just very much incompetent or of course you could just be lying how am i supposed to take your word for it either way and before people think i'm being too harsh on these people look man i have a huge issue with people that make promises and then break them okay these people said that they were pushing for more transparency when in reality when they've had the chance to be transparent they didn't they promised to tell people what happened they didn't. They've had three and a half months to come up with an explanation. They didn't. They deflected all the blame and pinned it on one person. A person that they've effectively bullied off the internet. If you guys have an issue with what I'm saying, then please come out and tell us what actually happened. But here's the problem though. How the hell are we supposed to believe you when it's your word against Caramel's and Caramel is never gonna show his face ever again because of you. Anyways, these are my thoughts about Hellborn and the people that were working on it and now are working on a different game. A game that I don't think has any future whatsoever. Bye.